Hey class, it's Mr. Dow with a quick update on where we are at the end of week four. Um, first, here's a shot of Crypto, the class dog. Okay, so he's with us. Um, first thing I want to say is that our current status is we have about 21 students that are enrolled and are still responding to everything, which is about normal for this part of the semester. Uh, the big question is, what happened to exercise three? That's, that's on me. There should have been an exercise three for that was be due this week. Um, but what happened was that uh, I took that out of my winter class, which is only runs for six weeks. They didn't have exercise three, and I forgot to put it back in for this week. So, um, so you're all excused from exercise three. What should have happened is that um, an exercise three, I would have asked everybody to send me an email uh, with their own theme statement for their paper one story so that I could have uh, had some individual discussions with each one of you about that. Um, instead, um, I would say uh, let's just focus on the discussion board. Um, if you haven't yet gone back to see what people said about your own uh, theme statement in your discussion board post with your group story, uh, I recommend that you go back there. I have posted in each story group um, making some specific recommendations for how to take what you've already got and make it a more full theme statement, or I've asked questions or made some other comments, but you definitely want to go back there, especially since we don't have an exercise that's due this week. Um, it is very difficult to write paper one unless you have a strong theme statement. So. Um, Review that and make sure to ask me if you have any questions about that. That's a good activity to do instead of having an exercise turned in on email. Just uh, see if you understand what a the the theme statement should be and um, kind of develop your own so that it uh, works for the rest of your paper. Uh, well, so what's going to happen then is that instead of this week, instead of week four being the week where the class picks up speed, as I thought it was going to be and had planned on. It's really going to be week five. It's going to be this coming week because I have the two major assignments there that are both um, uh, revised until they're okay assignments. One is the exercise four, which deals with quote usage, and one is the uh, actual outline of the paper, uh, which should involve a revised theme statement. But uh, a lot of people somehow have misconceptions about paper number one, and a lot of those misconceptions come out in their outline. And of course, we want to fix that before we move forward. So uh, once again, if you can get to those assignments a little earlier in the week, that would be um, that would be helpful. So I think this was a pretty soft week overall. I think most of you are doing well with keeping up with the stories and the, uh, the story comments. I'll respond to some of the story comments on this past week's stories. But uh, the more important information is to get to the um, stuff coming up in week five and um, to make sure your theme statement is pretty good or understand how you can make it better. And if you're not sure, of course, uh, ask questions. Send, email, send questions about the story or about the theme statement as you have it now, whatever, um, whatever works. All right, that's, that's all really. Um, yeah, moving on to, to week five, which will be more indicative of the way the rest of this course is probably going to go. Okay, let's see if, uh, if Crypto has any final message for any of you. Well, at least he's looking at you. The eye of crypto is upon you. All right, good luck. Keep going.